Hello, hi, and welcome to Rise Like a Phoenix, a podcast from Phoenix Records. Today is episode four in our nine part series, and we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of home recording. So let's jump right in. When home recording started off many years ago, it was incredibly expensive, and the equipment that you had to invest in was bulky, heavy, and hard to transport. Nowadays, home recording has become somewhat of a novelty to the music industry and has allowed many artists to break the charts without the need for a major recording contract or massive financial backer pushing them to the top. In fact, we're seeing more bedroom producers making millions now than ever before. And with the advent of social media, anyone can become an instant star in seconds. Take, for example, Billie Eilish and her brother Phineas, who wrote and recorded her debut single, Ocean Eyes, from Billy's bedroom on software that is available to the general, general public. And this was also done whilst using a plethora of Logic Pro X's stock plugins, something that again is available to the general public. Her track, Ocean Eyes, has now gone on to be streamed over 865 million times on Spotify, making it one of her most popular songs to date. Billy and her brother Phineas still record her vocals from the end of her bed and still use the same software to capture her music as they did before. And this goes to show that home recording is a completely viable way of making a living. In addition, when speaking about social media stars, it's worth noting that Nathan Evans, whose song Wellerman, made him an overnight sensation and a song that has been streamed over 303 million times on Spotify. Bedroom producing again at its finest. So as we can see, there are plenty of pros for home recording. Nowadays, it's inexpensive and the equipment is highly portable, which is ideal for the modern producer. Furthermore, the equipment's easy to find and resource, and it's easy for any old layman to compare the different kinds of equipment out there to get exactly the right sound he or she wants. Uh, Lastly, in terms of setting up diffusers and bass traps within your room, it's super easy to make a terrible acoustics room sound amazing. And there are even inexpensive companies out there who will design and build it for you too. There's plenty of YouTube tutorials on recording. Uh, There's plenty of YouTube tutorials on how to make your songs sound better, what software to use, what equipment to buy. And so really anyone out there who wants to be a bedroom producer, uh, record music for other people, even be a songwriter to extent and get their uh, ideas down on paper and in software, can do it ever so easily now. Um, So what about the cons of home recording? Well, obviously the first thing we should mention is you're never going to get the same sound in your bedroom as you do in a multi-million pound super studio in Nashville. That's pretty much a given. However, as I said before, with the advent of good software and technology, you can get pretty close, to be honest, especially for electronic based uh, MIDI tracks and such like, you know, bedroom producers, dance music, that kind of thing. Uh, If you're a DJ, home recording is brilliant because you can do it all on your own. I know lots of people like to market themselves now, which is kind of um, an addition from home recording, Um, but it's so inexpensive. It's so easy to do. Um, I suppose the other uh, big con of home recording is that unless you're um, DI tracking your audio, then you're not going to get an amazing sound recording uh, through your microphones, even in probably the best bedroom setup. um, And I suppose this also goes for vocals too. um, You're never going to get the best sound because, again, your bedroom is not built in the same way that a multi-million pound super studio in Nashville or Memphis or wherever these um, fantastic studios are, are, your room is never going to be the same as their room because you just don't have the money to build what they've got. You can get close and to the general public, the general listener, they might not notice the difference, but there is a difference, of course there is. Um, Obviously, there's also many... um, ways to record vocals now where we can kind of um, isolate ourselves at home through diffusers or um, even studio helmets that cover your entire body. I think there's there's one called Vox Booth or something like that and you literally stand it on your microphone, it goes over your head and you're in a studio room. But again, the biggest downside is this is never going to sound like an amazing studio either because it is not the same. 
um, and to be honest it's probably a little bit of a fad I think something like that it, it, it's not uh, it's not the best thing to use um, so home recording brilliant as I said inexpensive um, anyone can do it it's um, portable um, and just really really practical it's great for freelancers as well who can work from home um, and I suppose the downside is it's never going to be the best sound especially if you're doing audio um, you're never going to get the same sound you're going to get in a professional studio environment but it is super practical and well worth having a look at if it's something you're interested in especially as a DJ um, or electronic dance uh, producer anything like that where you use a lot of MIDI yes this is fantastic way to do it. and uh, there's even some Billie Eilish tracks on Logic now I think um, that you can go and have a look at it as a demo project I think Ocean Eyes is one of them I also think there's a Lil Nas X uh, project on there as well because um, of course he um, he was uh, home recording his stuff um, his first song Old Town Road that was done at his, his house um, and then he marketed himself on TikTok and it took him about a year till that song took off and then it went massive um, so yeah there we go that's home recording pros and cons that's been episode 4 in Rise Like a Phoenix the podcast from Phoenix Records thanks again for listening uh, to this podcast we we'll hope you join us next time and uh, yeah let us know what you think in the comments cheers guys bye bye Thank you.